Hi, John McKinley here. Hey, I wanted to make this quick short video to share with you all uh, in the real estate world. You know, there's a lot of changes coming up here in August with the rules and regulations and what's going on with that uh, lawsuit that you guys were dealing with against uh, National Association of Realtors. And I wanted to take a minute and share this document with you that came directly from VA. And it really digs into what's going on, what, how they're going to handle the charges that are, uh, that are charged by a buyer's agent. And I think this is something real important here for y'all. I just want to go over it really quick and just kind of go over the high point, the highlights of it. So that way, when you guys are out there working in the world of real estate, you know how VA is going to deal with things. And just to give you a heads up, I also have a copy of this letter. If you want a copy of this letter, please feel free. Just leave a message down below here or shoot me a direct message and I'll definitely get you over a copy of this letter. Basically what it talks about is I'm sure you all know that veterans are not allowed to pay the real estate commissions or real estate fees charged by realtors or real estate agents. Well, what they've done is they have decided to temporarily lift those regulations and VA regulates fees and charges that may be made against or paid by a veteran who is using the VA guaranteed home loan benefit. Well, VA's regulation specifies that generally a veteran cannot pay for real estate brokerage services. The Undersecretary for Benefits may authorize in advance charges that are appropriate for veterans to pay as proper local variances. Through this circular, VA is announcing that a temporary local variance that will allow veterans to pay for certain buyer brokerage charges. The USB has determined this temporary var variance is appropriate to ensure veterans remain competitive buyers in the rapidly shifting real estate brokerage market. VA will develop a more permanent policy through a new notice and comment rulemaking. As real estate brokerage market restabilizes and new practices take hold. So in other words, this is a temporary change and they are going to announce in the near future the permanent change. What it's going to be, that's anyone's guess. VA is authorizing a temporary local variance that allows veterans to pay reasonable and customary amounts for buyer brokerage charges subject to the following listing brokers are prohibited from setting the buyer broker compensation through MLS and the buyer broker compensation cannot be established by or flow through the listing broker so basically what it's saying is if the listing agent is not taking care of the real estate charges on the buyer's side, the veteran can pay for that. But here's something to, we want to make sure that you guys understand this is the veteran is also going to, we're going to have to determine at us as the lenders that the veteran does have the funds to pay for those. That's going to have to be included in the closing cost. Also, too, some things that are changing as well as we are going to now be requiring to get a copy of your buyer broker representation agreements. You know, they're, they're part of the sales contract already. And as such, VA expects lenders, that would be myself, to upload the agreement as part of the package. So just giving you guys a heads up as well, when you turn in your contracts along with all the other amendments and paperwork that's involved in that to the lender who your borrowers are working with, hopefully that's me, you're going to have to include your buyer's rep agreement. So, and then this just gets into the other details on this. But once again, I just want to let you all know that, um, I'll be more than happy to give you a copy of this form. Feel free to go ahead and shoot me a message. Or you can call me directly, 281-851-4963. And I hope that was, this was helpful to you all.